You know, we've been through some changes as a band in the last few years. We've been through some metamorphoses, we've been through a few band members, and I really think that at the moment, with myself and Ben and Tim being the core of Good Luck, it's in the strongest place it's ever been. At the moment, it's just feeling really fluid, it's feeling really creative, and it's feeling really aligned. So it's gonna be a crazy day in the studio today, eh? Yeah, super busy, we've got streaming downstairs, pre-production upstairs, really exciting. It's gonna be mad. <laughs> Let's do it. Uh, Tim's brought such a phenomenal dynamic that I think we've really missed having this really level-headed, calm personality in the band who is really good at listening to people, really good at, at unpacking things uh, where Ben and I get very emotionally heightened and very kind of like very invested in stuff. Tim is much more level-headed and it's really nice. I feel like he's bringing a bit of Ying Tao Yang or Yang Tao Ying or however you want to say that. He's actually he's the newest member of Good Luck and it's been quite a trial for him joining in 2020. His first gig was K-Day, it's a giant big festival in South Africa, 25,000 odd people. So he walked out on stage into, uh, yeah, well, I guess that's a trial by fire. Yeah, can't, you can't stuff up that gig, can you? Um, and then COVID struck and we were just like shut down. Point your microphone at Tim, please. My relationship with Jules and Ben is, has still been new, so it's been awesome getting to know those two in like the, the trio context. That <laughs> ben is the worst. There's this crazy mad producer. <laughs> I think everyone's just jolled really nicely and, and we do, work well as a team. Do Ben and Jules sometimes fight in the band? Okay, every time we're finishing a song, you're coming with something. What? Just, That's I, I just need you to relax on it though. Okay. Ben and Jules fight, but I think having so many other people around has, has kept like the amount of people in between Ben and Jules has like grown. So now there's more distance between them, which is maybe stops the fighting a bit. <laughs> <laughs> It's been really cool to see how this guy who you know came in under the impression that he was going to be joining a musical outfit has just blossomed in in a, in a into a working relationship that is been barely about making music. It's only now that we kind of get to do this project. This is the first project that we're embarking upon as our trio, and it's kind of like the first thing that we're giving all of our creative stamp to. Up until this point, it's just been about live streaming and figuring out how to, you know, get through this COVID nonsense. Um, yeah, so I take my hat off to him. He's, he's been a, an amazing addition to the team. Yeah, let's, uh, let's take it from, let's take it from, let's take it from the top. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Ramen Cola. I think it's probably my favorite song in this album because I love how completely different it is from the original. Uh, it has, it, it sounds like an entirely different song. You know, whereas all the songs are reimagined in a beautiful way, this song is like completely separate. And so it's just awesome to hear how you can take this fun, dancey pop track just perform it differently and you can have a melancholic moving gut-wrenching raw melodic piano song you know it's 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 just it's amazing how it's the same song Rum and Cola is a very brave thing to do, <laughs> like especially as a vocalist. I mean, Jules is like exposing herself like in the most extreme way, like in terms of her vocals and singing in that really like fragile part of her voice, which I really, really like. I mean, we just did a take now and it was like a little lump in the throat. Like it's really, it's, a, it's powerful stuff. In terms of like the the chords and the feeling and you know, we, we're actually tapping into something quite spiritual I feel. 
We had this like stillness in the room. You could just drop a pin and everyone was like, not even like moving a muscle. It was literally dead quiet in the studio. There's something going on here. I don't know what, what went on in this. Maybe it's because we've all come out of this like long lockdown. We've just, we just had it all together, you know? And you felt that, you felt that just intensity. It was, it was really magical and real. I feel like something like very, very special has happened here. Yeah. 